Praise the living Jesus. We bless God for another session of All Things Are Possible when we put our trust in the Lord. And so we want to start by saying we give thanks to the Most High God. And so Lord, we declare this meeting open tonight in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to say welcome to everyone that has connected tonight, irrespective of your time zone, irrespective where you're connected from. And those that will be joining us later by watching the video thereafter streaming, and those that will continue to watch the video and follow the prayer points that we're going to be raising, I want to let you know that the prayer you pray at that minute, the next day, the very next minute will become testimony. The Lord will answer you in the time of trouble. He will send you help. In the name that is above every name, He will grant your heart desires and He will make all things beautiful in His time in your life. Today we are going to continue in the creative world. Can you imagine? We have gone to the second month now if not the third month, actually, of the creative world. In the beginning, the world was without form. It was empty. By the word of God, in the creation, he created the, everything that we can see today. But guess what? He made one thing in his own image, which makes us, which makes us, which makes me and you unique. To the most high God. And so we want to bless him today because we are still continuing in this program and the Lord is giving each and every one of us testimonies. Testimonies for everything we have believed and we have prayed for. We are grateful to him and we give him all the glory, honor, adoration in the name of Jesus. A songwriter says, give thanks we are grateful, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, He is Give thanks, we are grateful, give thanks to the Holy One. Give because he's given Jesus Christ, his son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. And the poor say, I am rich because of what? The Lord has done for me. And now, let the weak say I am strong. And that was say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh, Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, 
Glory, glory to the Lamb. Receive our glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And all to you, I lift my voice it's to you, Lord. You are the Lamb of God, the true. Receive a glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. We give you glory, glory, glory to the Lord. For you are glorious, you are worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. my hands in praise to you, Lord. You are the Lamb of all the truth. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life, a share of this, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar, Lord, you are the pillar that holds my life. I say you are the pillar, Daddy, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Now we're going to sing the theme of this prayer meeting that says all things are possible. Hallelujah. Yes, it is possible. All things are possible. All things are possible in my life. Yes, I can feel the presence of Jesus. All things are possible right now. Yes, it is possible. All things are possible. All things are possible in my life. Yes, I can feel the presence of Jesus and his word has made me whole. Yes, it is possible. My healing is possible. My promotion is possible. My house is possible. My husband is possible. My wife is possible. My ministry is possible. My business is possible. My promotion is possible. My breakthrough is possible. 
If you believe the Lord, I want you to begin to tap Amen, 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 Amen on the chat box. Everything you believe God for is possible. It is possible right now. Yes, I can feel the presence of Holy Spirit. The word of Jesus has made me whole. Hallelujah. Once again, for those of us that are just joining, I want to say welcome. So all things are possible when we put our trust in the Lord. I want to let you know that there is nothing that is impossible when you trust the Lord. And that thing that is impossible it is the thing that is impossible, that is not existed. That is the world that is impossible. But so long as the Lord lives, your heart desire, your faith, your trust, your belief, your 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 whatever you are hoping for i want to let you know it is possible the reason is because with god all things are possible all things when i say all it means all things are possible if you can conceive it you will have it if you can comprehend it you will conceive it and you will have it if you can think about it, if you can imagine yourself in that shoe, in that your husband's house, in that baby, your dancing with the baby, come and see the Lord is good. In your promotion, come and see the Lord is good. Your husband, the veil that the devil has used over your head, is turned open today. Come and see the Lord is good. Hey, come and see the Lord is good. Your wife that you are believing God for, that wife that will be a mother, that will be a sister, that will be your real helpmate, not, not the one that will cause you pain. Come and see the Lord is good. There is nothing you cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. I have tested, I have tasted, I have seen that the Lord is good. That's why I am presenting it to you today. Whatever you are believing God for, you should not have any option. You should not have alternative. Just put your trust. Pack all those eggs in the same basket and the Lord will visit you. So without much ado, we're going to read the word of God and go into the session of prayers. Once again, the topic for today and the thing we're having is all things are possible. Only believe, only just put your trust in the Lord. Then the next one is the creative word of God, the subtitle. And in that subtitle, we have, hallelujah, we have new beginning. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Do you know why I said so? We have prayed over a series of things. We have prayed over several things that you are believing God for. We have gotten to the point now, everything is new. If any man be in Christ, all things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. But we are talking about the newness of your faith, the newness of your belief, the newness. Of those things we have prayed about. So please let me tell you. Let me give you a very good advice. If you don't trust the Lord. You don't believe the Lord. That this program. Or this prayer you have been praying. Is being answered. Please log off. Don't go. But if you trust in the Lord. That all that you have asked. He has done it. And he's going to do more for you. I want you to put more. I mean, worship it tonight. Just begin to appreciate him because he has he has done it. We have asked for so many things. But can I tell you, he has answered all our prayers. And so we'll be going to the, the Bible reading of today. For all things are possible when we put our trust in the Lord. All things are possible 
when we put our hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. <clears throat> amen. Hallelujah. All things are possible. Fully put your trust in Him. In Him. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. He said, He has made everything beautiful in His time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. Can you imagine? God has made all things beautiful in his time. You know, this morning, <clears throat> when I was having my personal uh, money devotion, I began to, you know, think about so many things. There are so many times I wanted certain things from the Lord. I was thinking, oh, why do I, why did I suffer this delay? Why is God not answering this thing? You know? So this morning, you know, as I was going through the list of things that I have asked and how and the, uh, the position I was then when I asked this thing, then I began to thank God. Some of those things God didn't do for me, I was thanking Him. Because if he has done those things for me then, this, there would have been a change in the narrative. My story would have been in a different form. And this form that the story turned out is best for me. This is what I have always wanted. This is what I want him to do. But those things were the immediate things I just wanted him to do then. You know? I keep thanking him that those things were not done as at the time I trusted, as at the time I prayed, as at the time I believed in him. Because if those things were given to me then, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been the way I am in the Lord now. He has made everything beautiful, all things beautiful in his time, in the time appointed by him. You know, the Bible says is the one that sees the end from the beginning. He has also set an eternity in the human heart. You know, yet no one, not even the angels, can fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. Not anything, not even the angels can fathom God, what he has done from the the beginning to the end, the, the, the King David version says, He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in, in their heart, so that no man can find out the work, amen, that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Not anyone will be able, let me go to a new living translation, say, Yes, God has made everything beautiful. Um, for its own time, that one certified for God's own time, you know, He has planted eternity in the human heart, you know. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from the beginning to the end. You can't fathom it, you can't think about it, you can't figure it out, you cannot imagine what God has done, you know, from the beginning. But the fact is that he has made everything beautiful in his time, not in our own, you know, at times we want God to do things by our own um, uh, human um, uh, imagination, you know, not what you desire, not the way you want it. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Ha! Ha! He said, there is no fear in love. And where is this love? The love is in the Lord. But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fear is not made perfect in love. You know, the God, hey, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit love us. And, you know, because of the love of God in our lives, He has made everything beautiful in his time in his time and if we love the lord and that love of god drives out everything fear 
that will hinder us from entry into the new beginning of our lives. You know, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, you remember I mentioned that if any man is in Christ, eh, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. You are in Christ. All the fear, all the fear you have suffered, all the torment from the devil, you know, if you love God, there shouldn't be fear in you, you know. And if you have perfect love for God, every fear in your life will be driven out. Because fear has, with this version says, it has punishment, torment, it torments you. The one who fear is not made perfect in love. You cannot be afraid of tomorrow. You cannot be afraid of achieving the best in your life. And you will claim to trust in the Lord. Eh? You cannot be afraid of what tomorrow will bring. And if you are in Christ, the Bible says you are a new creature. All things are passed away. All things, all things becomes new. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like the eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk. And they will not faint. Your new beginning comes when your trust is in the Lord. When your trust is in the Lord. How do you get this trust in the Lord? Ezekiel 36, 26 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. And I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, hey. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, oh. Let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Wherever you are, I want you to begin to sing joyful song song of hallelujah and listen to this hallelujah jeremiah 29 11 says for i know the plans i have for you to so have a new beginning the lord knows the plans he has for you you know declares the lord he knows the plans he has for you plans to prosper you eh? and not to harm you hallelujah Plans to give you hope and a future. I know the plans I have for you. That when you ask anything in my name, I will grant you. I will give it to you. I know the plans I have for you. That you will not lack any good thing. I know the plans I have for you. The plans to give you your baby. The plans to give you your husband. The plans to give you your desired job. There's plans for you to pass your exams. You know what? Where there is problem is giving up. Giving up. When you give up, that is where there is a problem. The devil does not have power over you. Where it has power, it is when you give up. These are the things the Lord is saying to us. For our new beginning. New beginning of breakthroughs. I have suffered shipwreck. I have suffered in the area of sickness. I have suffered in the area of, 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 of jobs, of business, of anything you can put there. But can I tell you, he says, he has a plan for you. It is not what you desire. It is not the way you want it. For those of us that have children, there are times I normally would ask my children, what do you want to have for breakfast? You know, they will want to always have those things you know will not be healthy for them. I say, okay, is that what you want to have? At times, I grant their request because I just, you know what? I've got a lot to do. Let me face my business for now. You go ahead and have that area you want to have. But there are other times I'll say, no, this is what I want us to have as breakfast. And this is what is going to be our lunch. And this is what is going to be our dinner. Because I am the one that is in charge here. That is who God is. 
is the one that is in charge of your life. He is the one that takes decision for you. He is the one that knows the end from the beginning. That road you want to go on, he knows if you go on that road, you will not come back. And he does not wish that you die young. He does not wish that you die early or be crippled or be blind. He will block that road. No matter how how, how fossil your eye about it, he will make sure you don't go on it because he does not want you to be destroyed. And this is what the Lord is saying to you. And he says, plan to prosper you in whatever is your heart desire. If you can conceive it, if you can imagine it, you know, if you can fathom it, you know, and not to harm you. Whatever is taken away from you is not doing it for wickedness. It means that is not the way you want to go. What if you go to want to go to a rich man as your husband? And that man is going to kill you before you realize it. God will not let you go ahead with that marriage. What if you are going to marry a woman that is going to cause you pain in the rest of your life? And he loves you and he knows you are you are you are to, close to him, you are dedicated to him. And he does not want any evil to before you. He will not allow that marriage to go ahead. You know, it is the plans to give you a better future, a hope, and a better future. That is the plans of the Lord for us. Your beginning seems humble. So prosperous will your future be. Hallelujah. That is Job eight seven. Your beginning looks so humble, but your your end is going to be what? prosperous and it will be a time for you to rejoice oh god of heaven we worship you tonight for your word we thank you brethren you know one thing i love um the, the, the thing is we want to pray but the fact is that if we have understanding of our prayer point and we have understanding the areas we want to cover in our prayer you know what the lord we uh, well, you know, we will have a little to pray before because the understanding is already there and you are sure that the Lord is going to answer you and is going to do that which you, you, you ask him to do for you. You know, this one, you know, like most times we are anxious. We just want to have the things done in, in our way. But this is what I want to say to you before we go to pray. You know, in um, Philippians, Chapter uh, 4, I'm going to read verse 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything. Don't get overstressed. Allow God to handle your situation. There are times people may mock you and say you, mm, especially you, you keep saying all things are possible. Look at you. We can't even see the, the sign of any possibility in you. Every mother you are joining all things are possible. The person that is even leading you. Who is that person? Are things possible in the person's life? You know? Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Forget about what people are saying. Forget about who is mocking you. People will definitely mock. You know, the thing that helped me with people's gossip and what people say is, God created the mouth for them to talk. So they're using their mouth to talk. How we don't give them mouth and they are not using it. It doesn't really matter whichever way they use it to me because I just believe God has given them that mouth. So do not be anxious. Do not let people give you name. Do not let situation give you name. Let there be a new beginning in your life from today. You are going to say that God of new beginning. Bring all things new in my life in the name of Jesus. If you are in business, you do contract, there are certain things you have to renew at the end of every 12 months or 24 months. It depends on your agreement with whoever you are doing contract with. The things will have to be new. And if you are in business, you are manufacturing or producing stock, you have to rebrand. If you continue with your brand, another beautiful, more beautiful brands are coming out, you find out that you are going to be left behind in the market. That's why you find out that there are some people in the business of, of, of producing certain things, especially food. You see, every year they rebrand. But if you are using a particular product, you will find out that there isn't actually much difference. But the fact remains that 
They have to rebrand to be in the market because new products are coming out, new brands, new future. You have to rebrand. How do you do this? In the place of prayer. You should not be anxious. You should not be worried. You should not be ashamed. You should not bow your head in shame. You are going to say, God of heaven, the God that answered by fire, O oh God of heaven, arise this hour. Turn everything in my life. Brethren, we are talking about things being new in your life, things being new in the life of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, make all things new in my life, Jesus. Make all things new in the life of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are going to pray with Proverbs uh, 3, 5 to 6. We have used this passage of the Bible so many times in this prayer meeting. It said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not your own understanding. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. My Father, my God, I put my trust in you. Because Lord God of heaven, you say trust in the Lord with all your heart. I put my trust in you that you will renew everything in my life. Everything that I have given up on, all the hopes I have given up. Jesus, all the aspiration, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today by the power of the Most High God, in the name that is above every name, make all things new in my life, oh God, bring my business to life, bring my body anew, there's somebody, you are sick, you are thinking, will I ever be that active woman, will I ever be that active man, there is no impossibility with God, with the passage we have read says, we should put our trust in God, in faith, in thanksgiving. We should make our request known unto God. You are going to pray. Father, I put my trust in you. Bring all things to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help me to acknowledge you in all my ways help me to submit to you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and so that you will straighten my path you will straighten the path of my family in the name of jesus let me lord jesus that everything in my life will come back anew because the bible says if any man be in christ he is a new creature all things of barrenness all things of lack of promotion all things of pain, all things of sorrow, all things of sickness, all things of lack, all things of poverty is past. But everything becomes new. It doesn't matter whether people are mocking you. The Bible says you should not be anxious in anything. That in everything we should put our trust in God. My Father, my God, I pray today by the power of the Most High God. Help me to put my trust in you. Help me to put my faith in you. Help me to put a God in the name that is above every name. My trust, oh God, in your word, in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to this. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. He said, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. My Father, my God, every past that has hindered me, every past that has hindered my blessings, oh Lord God of heaven, I wipe it right now with the precious blood of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, the past that has held me back, the past of God that has held my family back in the name that is above every name, I break myself loose. I break myself loose. I break my family loose from the past of God that has held us bound. From the past of God that has held my ministry bound. From the past of God that has held my promotion bound. From the past of God that has held my business bound. That this is how it has been for all the years in my life. I have not been able to make any move concerning certain things that the devil keeps reminding me 
that is working against me, I cling with the blood of Jesus. I cling with the blood of Jesus. I flush with the blood of Jesus. Father, I forget, to oh God, today, by the power of the Most High God, those hindrances, those pains, those sorrow, those setbacks, those emptiness, those poverty, those failure, those unfruitfulness that have suffered in the past. I remove you with the blood of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. He says, see, verse 19 says, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it, it springs up. Do not, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and stream. Eh? In the wasteland, hallelujah, I have to scream this to enter somebody's ear. Can you not see it? Yes, the problems are there. Why would you give up? Why would you dwell on the past? This is the new time. This is the time to renew your account. In the name of Jesus, your physical account, your spiritual account. He says, see, I am doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing today in the life of somebody. If you are that person, I want you to say a resounding amen. If you are that person in the name that is above every name, I want you to say a resounding amen. Because the Lord is working at something. He says, see, now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Can you not see it? Can you not feel it? That I am the Lord. There is nothing that is too hard for me. I am the Lord. That there is nothing that is difficult for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, all those new things you are doing, no power, no spirit, no agent, no demon, no devil can hold it back. I receive it. Begin to receive it now. In the name of Jesus. I receive it by the power of the Most High God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I can perceive it. Yes, Lord, I can see that which you are doing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He says, I am making a way in the wilderness. Do you know what wilderness is? Go and Google wilderness. There is no way in the wilderness. There is no hope in the wilderness. But he's saying that whatever wilderness experience you're going through, people may have given up concerning you. The very close people you trust, your pastor may have given up concerning you. Your parents may have given up concerning you. Bishops, reverends may have given up concerning you. I remember a situation. A woman was having a problem. The pastor said he got to a time when he sees the woman coming, he will find where to hide. Because it was like, I am not God now. I can't help you. We are afraid. Now, people will run when it gets to a time. But this God is saying, I am making a way in the wilderness. Where there is no hope, I'm going to show up for you. Stream in the wasteland. In the land where there is no water. Some of us will live in countries where we don't know what it means. What it means to for people to be suffering. You know, I was sharing with my husband days ago that, do you know, even the homeless we see on our streets, in our country here, that they go to the doctors, they go to the pharmacy, uh, pharmacy to get their medication. They, go, they have bank accounts. They open account for them. Yet, we call them homeless. Is that one really homeless? When you see homeless, we know they are homeless. You know, you, you don't know, the homeless will have a phone. Uh -uh. There are places you will till and till and dig and dig and dig, no water will come out. When you get to such places, you will know what it means to be, for people to be suffering. You know, this is not suffering. When, what you see in this country, wilderness experience, that everything about, in fact, if the, the, the people hungry will see a gray, a gray of corn or, or whatever, they, they, they are jubilating that they, it's as bad as that. That is what God is saying. No matter how terrible the situation is, that he will make a way for you in the wasteland. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to pray. The God of all things, Lord God of heaven, show up in my situation. In the name of Jesus, Show up, oh God, in my life. Show up in my marriage. Show up in the life of my children. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please make all things beautiful in my life. Whichever way I have been worried, whichever way, whichever way I have been anxious, Lord, I remove it today by the precious blood of Jesus. Brethren, the reason we lay those um, biblical um, scriptures in front before we start praying, read it and begin to read it into your life because somebody will think, oh, oh you are going to pray for 10, 15 minutes. You have used five minutes for the word of God. We are telling you that with God, all things are possible. People have gone through this before. God is saying something about your situation. If you do not know, when you pray, you will not be able to understand. You are going to pray today and say, God of heaven, your word says those who put their trust in you, they will mount up with wings as eagles. Father, help me to mount up with wings as eagles. If you read the story of eagle, eagles are special birds. In the name of Jesus, make me special. Hey, make my situation special. Attend to me today, my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, attend, oh God. Some, somebody can be very poor. Within an hour, he can be a very rich person. It is only God that knows. And it is only God that can do it. Don't ask me how. I don't know. But I know with God, all things are possible. Yes, you may be praying. You may have been praying for years. I want to let you know. You know, the open heaven of, I think, Saturday or Sunday, one of the days, I just give glory to God that I didn't miss that part of the open heaven. If you are new to this um, uh, channel, the open heaven is from the redeemed Christian Church of God. The general overseer of this mission is the writer of that open heaven. Do you know the funny thing about the open heaven? Each time you want to make a wrong move, it will look as if the Father is talking to you about that situation. You know, to be honest with you, like that they was talking about, don't give up. That they was giving an example of somebody that came to dig well. You know, well in, is where water comes out from. You know, you have to really dig to get to where water is. Then you begin to use the water outside. And this person came, the land was so hard. He did everything. He could not penetrate. He didn't go through. And he gave up. He gave up the money. He gave up everything that he was going to be paid because the agreement was you will be paid when water comes out. But this guy digged and no water came out. He gave up. And another person came and barely could the person hit. Water came out within a very short time. Guess what? He got everything. You know, the person that did several, dig, dig, dig to the point of the water coming out, did not get anything because he gave up. So, brethren, you cannot give up on God. You cannot give up in the area of prayers. You know, I said, Lord, thank you. Because maybe there are some areas in my life, there are some things I was going to give up on. And the Lord used my Father in the Lord to speak to me. So, if you want it, Google ROCCG and put open heaven there every blessed day. The word of God is talking to you there. And you are going to pray. My father, my God, I put my hope in you. They said, in this passage we have read, as Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. My hope is on you. And guess what? The early month, the open heaven of this morning, I said to my brethren, you know what? We must sing, we must sing that open heaven Um. Uh, him, you know, we must sing it. He said, My hope is built on nothing less. Hallelujah! My hope is built on nothing less. So, I said to them, We are going to sing this open heaven that says, My hope is built on nothing less. Hallelujah! And you know, this afternoon, it is the same thing I'm saying to you. Your hope should not be built on nothing less, you know. The hymn, I'm sure we have it. Nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Huh? He said, I dare not trust the sweetest frame. 
Hmm? But wholly lean on Jesus Christ. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground, all other options, all other alternatives, they are wasted effort. You are going to pray and say, Lord, my hope is built on you. I cannot give up, oh God, at the point of my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Bible says in, in um, 1 John 5, 4 to 6, For whosoever born of God overcometh the world, you must overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. If you are born of God, you must overcome. How do you overcome? You will have renewed in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your spirit will be renewed. Your spirit will be renewed. Your spirit will be renewed. In the mighty name of Jesus, my hope is built on nothing less than the blood of Jesus. I dare not trust on any frame, but trust wholly in Jesus' name. And so you are going to say, Lord Jesus, let your name begin to work for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. I plead the blood of Jesus over my children. I plead the blood of Jesus over my husband. I plead the blood of Jesus over my wife. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, brethren, this time around, there are so many things on the social media. People choose to watch how you can throw egg off miracles will begin to happen rather than listening and praying the word of god i want you to pray that in the name that is above every name i will not trust on any alternative i will not have any options in god my father my god renew my life renew everything concerning me in the mighty name of jesus if you are at the point of getting married and you are getting old already people are running from you because of your old age tell god to renew you Tell God to renew you. When you're on social media, you see some certain stuff, people will tell you, use it. Even if you are 60, 70 years, people will begin to run after you. You run into it. But we have a name that you actually don't need to use anything. When you call on the name of Jesus, everything becomes new in your life. Call on that name, in the name that is above every name. As many that will call on the name of Jesus, he will, he will answer them in the name that is above every name. The names with which every knee bows, every power bows. And so, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, renew me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover every, both extended, immediate family with the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, let there be newness in my family. Maybe you, for over 10, 15 years, you don't know what it means to buy any new thing in your family, in your home, in your, in, in, for even for yourself. You are going to say, Lord, let all that be changed now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever power that is warring against me, whatever that is warring against my promotion, Father, take it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remove it with the blood of Jesus. Father, let everything, O oh God, become new in my life. Let everything, O oh God, become new in the life of my children. Let everything, O oh God, become new in the life of my husband. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he will give you a new heart. A heart to conceive new things. A heart to comprehend, to imagine those beautiful things you have always wanted from the Lord. Ezekiel 36, 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. Lord, today I plead in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please put a new heart in me. Put a new spirit in me. Yes, oh God. Remove, O oh God, the heart of stone, that stubborn heart that is stubborn to the word of God, that stubborn heart, O oh God, that has hindered me all these years. Remove it, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, please give me an undivided heart. O oh God, put a new spirit in me. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove every stony heart, every heart, oh God, that rebels to the word of God, every heart that has hindered me in the name of Jesus, that has taken me out of contentment, out of holiness, that is a great gain to the children of God. Father, please 
Take that heart, oh God, of greed. That heart is that selfish heart, oh God, that hinders, oh God, that reduces, oh God, that bring on to nothing, oh God. Take it out with the blood of Jesus. Please renew a heart in me, O oh God. Renew a great heart in me, O oh God. Renew a great heart in me, O oh God. Every fear of tomorrow, Lord God of heaven, that we have read in First John 4:18, God of heaven, that is making me, Lord God of heaven, not trusting your words. Take it out in the name of Jesus. Put the love of Christ in my heart because there is no fear in love. I pray tonight, O oh God, put that fear, that love of Christ, Jesus, that does not accommodate any fear in my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Burima for fear is a torment. Fear is punishment. I don't want to be punished, oh God. Remove punishment from me. Remove, oh God, that fear that torment. Remove, oh God, that fear that sets back. Remove, oh God, that fear that hinders faith. Remove, oh God, that fear that will not let me take the next step of my life. In the name of Jesus, take it out, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, put that love of God in my heart. The one of God that made that, that love of God that will bring perfection of my heart. Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God of heaven, the one who fear is not made perfect in love. God, that love that brings perfection, that makes perfect to God, put it in my heart because when you take other spirit of fear, that will take over and your name, my Father, my God, will be mightily, mightily glorified. I am grateful to you right now, Lord. Our children, oh God of heaven, we cover them wherever they are now with the blood of Jesus. From Nunsbury to university, the ones that are working, we cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover our homes with the blood of Jesus. We build the wall of defense around us, oh God, right now. You are our strong tower. You are our strong tower, Jesus. Father, we cover our family with the blood of Jesus. We cover our children with the blood of Jesus. We cover our wives with the blood of Jesus. We cover our husband with the blood of Jesus. We cover our parents with the blood of Jesus. Lord, the peace that comes from you and no sorrow is added. Father, release it to our hearts right now. Release it to our hearts tonight, O God. The peace that comes from you and no sorrow is added. Release it to our families, Jesus. Release it to as many that are connected today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God of heaven, I release that new wedding gown. Receive it whoever you are. Take your wedding gown right now. And but remember, you should come and glorify the Lord. Come and testify to the glory of God. I can see somebody's wedding gown hanging. If you are the person, just take your wedding gown right now. Take your wedding gown. Take your, I can see keys. Keys, keys, keys. I don't know what that key is for. Maybe it's for your house. Maybe it's for your, uh, for your car. I'm not sure, but receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Ah, this wedding gown is beautiful. In the name of Jesus, we remove every veil that is covering your glory. Take your wedding gown. In the name of Jesus, receive your wedding gown. Receive your keys. In the mighty name of Jesus, newness, carry your baby. In the mighty name of Jesus, carry your baby right now. Newness, newness, barrenness is done. Truthfulness has taken over your name right now. In the name of Jesus, that brown envelope for your job, receive it in the name of Jesus. That promotion you have always wanted, you are believing God for, here it is. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. That healing in the mighty name of Jesus that you have longed for. You want to go back to your normal life. You want to be happy like every other person. Right now, this is it. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus, that joy that has long eluded you, eluded your family, eluded your, your marriage, that intruder, we remove them right now. Receive your joy in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Thank you most holy God. We appreciate you. We thank you for what you have done tonight. Until you be honor, glory, adoration. Thank you for visiting us once again. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making all things beautiful in our lives, in your time. We appreciate you. What a wonder you are. Lord, whenever we call on you, you answer us, Lord, and you make all things beautiful in our lives, in our situation. No matter how ugly, no matter how bad the situation is, Lord Jesus, you visit us. Thank you for reaching out for your children all over the world. For, for wherever this video is going to be, Lord. And whoever is going to lay their hands on this miracle. I release it to them in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. Before you go, there's one thing that is very crucial that you should do. I'm going to let you know. You know, <laughs> we have prayed for everybody. Like I always say, the sun shines on the just and on the just. On just. The rain falls on all of us. But the truth is that when we say my children, our children, we know those that are truly, truly our children. So tonight, there, is, there are specific blessings. There are specific miracles. There are general blessings like the sun and the moon and the rain I've just talked about. But guess what? If you want to really have an encounter with the Lord and you have not received Him as your personal Lord and Savior, you are prolonging your issues. But let me tell you one secret. It is just very simple. Opening up your heart, accepting Him into your life as your personal Lord and Savior. I want to let you know, <laughs> to God's glory, everything is gone. And everything becomes possible in your life. So tonight, I want you to lift your hands to heaven. I want you to ask God, every sin you have committed, whether by committing it deliberately or it is just an error of omission on your side. Ask for his forgiveness. And you are going to say, Lord, please forgive me all my sins. Accept me as one of your own. Today, I renounce devil and his agent. And all the evil plans of the enemy, I cancel with the blood of Jesus. Father, please take me as one of your own. As a member of your family. I receive you into my heart tonight, Jesus, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I pray that I will not go back to my sin. From now on, help me to begin to have an encounter with you, to see you, Lord, in a different light in my life, and your name will be glorified. Thank you, my child, everlasting God, for in Jesus' mighty name. And the first name we have paid. That's all. You are now a member. So easy. Congratulations. You know why I always do this? And why I always rejoice when you accept Jesus? I will let you know. Can you imagine you stirring up joy in heaven? For that simple step you are taking, there's so much joy, jubilation going on in heaven. I love to join them to say thank you, Jesus, for saving my brother. For saving my sister. Congratulations, bros. Congratulations, sis. God bless you. You are welcome to God's family. I embrace you. Just take it from me. I know you can feel it. Hallelujah. Congratulations and high five to you to have taken that decision. I want to let you know your life will never be the same again. So please, if you are new in this uh, platform, join us on Wednesdays. For undiluted word of God, we have a man of God in the house that is anointed to just give the word of God as it is. He does not add, he does not make it, you know, sugary for you to accept it. He gives it to you as raw well as it is because he wants to help you make heaven. He doesn't want to pamper you, tell you that it's sweet as sugar. By the time you come in, you begin to see the other side. You think, oh, this was not what I was told. I was told that seven steps to miracle, seven steps to breakthrough, seven steps to begin to ride the uh, manner of cars and houses. He's not going to give you that. He's going to give you the world as raw, as fresh, as beautiful 
as the Bible describes it. And he wants you to make heaven. And he wants you to take it and be better Christian. And also so that you'll be able to have fruit of your own as a believer. Because we are meant to bear fruit to God's glory. So please join us on Wednesday and join us in our Sunday service as well. Now we just um, stream the world. The dancing, the, all the drama and everything. If you want to come, have it in our church. But if you want to hear the word, we give you the word as it is. As raw, as open, as blessed as it is. To God's glory. So you're welcome. And thank you for being part of our service once again. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I look forward to seeing you again next Monday. To be part of all things are possible. But remember, before then, the Lord will give you a testimony that you will never forget. And you will live to testify of God's goodness. For in Jesus' name, we have faith. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.